Okay, this tutorial is going to be about how to recover a lost or forgotten password on a Cisco router. So password recovery. What we're going to need is we've got a Cisco router, we have a switch and a client, but we also have an, an administrative computer that's been hooked up to the router with a console connection. So a console um, port connection with a console cable. Right, and so what we're going to do is you're going to need to to be able to recover the password you need to have a direct connection to the router console connection so when you have a console connection with your PC you're going to need a program like hyper terminal like this program here or let's say putty or something like that in the real world to console in so hyper terminal these are the settings that you need to hyper terminal in and you can see if we get in there I'm in the router now and I've got a a hyperterminal connection, a console connection to the router. Now the, the text here is a little bit small so I'm going to use the tool here on this. If I click on the router I can use this little command line interface tool which the text I've set the text to be a little bit bigger. So let's put in some basic configurations on the router and then we will lose the password and then we'll re recover it. So right off the bat I'm in the pass I'm in the router here. I've typed enable. I've got into privileged user mode and now I'm going to do conf t. I'm going to set the host name to r1, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say interface fa fast ethernet 0/0 zero zero, and I'll set the IP address to 192.168.1.1. And then I'll type no shutdown. Okay. And now the interface is up. So we have a few configurations on the router. And what I'm going to do now is I'll say control C. I'm going to set the password now that we're going to forget. So we're going to say conf T to get to global config mode. Enable secret. So it's going to be this, it will be the privileged user right the administrative user password but it's enable secret so it'll be encrypted with MD5 encryption and I'm just gonna type in some gibberish and then hit enter so I'm not gonna be able to remember that right so now I'll hit control C right I'll do a show run and you can see there is the password that I just put in and I don't know what it is and it's been encrypted you can see the, the encrypted output right here and the 5 indicating MD5 encryption so now what we want to do is we want to save our configuration. Copy running config to startup config. And do we want it to be the name startup config? Yes, we just hit enter. And so we've saved our configuration and we don't know what the administrative password is. The level 15 privileged user uh, password. What we want to do now is before we restart the router and lose our password, I'm going to do a show version command and in the show version command you can see right off the bat the system image file this is the iOS this is the operating system for the router it's in a bin file and this is the bin file you can see the name it's, it tells you it's an 1841 router so this is the iOS image for an 1841 router it's using advanced IP services this is the version version 12.4 uh, revision 15 that kind of thing right so then what we do is we hit spacebar more and at the bottom of the show version command you can see a bunch of cool stuff you can see um, a little bit about the processor about the Ethernet ports how much NVRAM is on the um, is in the router how big the flash memory is how much flash memory is on there and also this is important the configuration register which equals 2102 now the configuration register tells the router that when it boots up that it needs to pull the configuration from the startup config file in NVRAM. So this setting right here tells it to look in NVRAM and get the configuration file and then load the configuration file to when the router boots up into running config and that's where our password is that we don't know what it is, right? So we don't know what it is. So for instance, now if I type let's say exit, right? And now I'm out of the router and then I hit return to get started and I type enable to get to privileged mode I don't know what the password is right I can't get into the router oh no so we don't know what the password is so what we need to do is we need to recover our password so how do we do that well this is how we do it what we need to do is well first of all we need to recover this password and so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to bounce the router so I go to physical tab 
here's the on and off button on the router and I'm going to need to bounce this router, turn it off and then turn it back on. I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull this over to the side. Then once I turn this router off and on with the PC here, which is still hyper terminaled in, I will type the break key on the keyboard, right? Or control break, or if you have a special um, uh, special FN key or you know command key that needs to use anything that will make the break key on your keyboard board work. It should be over by the numbers, um, right by the home button or the print screen button. You'll find the break key button open over there probably. So now what we're going to do is we will we will bounce this router and we will basically get into what's called ROM monitor mode which is a sub iOS that's on the boot ROM that will allow us to recover the password or not just recover the password it'll allow us to have the router start and not and bypass the configuration file in the startup config so to do this once again you're gonna need a PC that is consoled in to the router right you're gonna have to have direct access to your router why first you're gonna need to turn it off so I just turned off the router and then I'm going to turn on the router and then in this PC right here I'm gonna type the break key so I click in the window here and hit break right alright and I hit break I try to do it quickly you have 60 seconds to hit the break key when you restart the router so while this while the router is booting up and decompressing the image, that's when you need to hit the break key on your keyboard. So you have 60 seconds to hit that break key on your keyboard, and you can see here that it says, uh-oh, um, command boot aborted, right? The booting of the, of the router has been aborted, right? And we are what's in what's called ROM monitor mode, right? ROM on 1, which is a sub small iOS located on the boot ROM. So now I'll switch to the CLI here where you can see the text a little bit bigger. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in a command here, conf reg. How did I get that? Well, if I type in a question mark, hit enter, you can see it's one of the commands available. You can see there's not that many commands available here, right? It's a little bit more difficult to work with in ROM monitor mode. But all we need to do actually is type conf reg, which allows us to access the configuration register. So we'll say conf reg, and we'll say 0x, and instead of putting 2102, we're going to put 2142. And this is going to enable us to bypass the startup config in NVRAM. So we'll do that, we'll hit enter, right? And now what we'll do is we'll hit reset, which is a system reset, which will then restart the router. Notice the router is resetting, but we change that configuration register to 2142, which is going to now bypass the NVRAM. It's not going to grab that configuration file. You can see that we're not in the in the normal configuration. It's asking us, do we want to do a, a system wizard here, initial configuration dialog, right? We say no, right? Press return to get started. Notice it no longer says R1 here at the prompt. It says router. Now I can type enable, and I'm in privileged user mode, right? So now that I'm in privileged user mode, what I can do is I can say, and you can see if I do a show run command, there's no password on the router, right? So what I can do now is I could say copy startup config, right, where we have our stored configuration to running config. So I'll do that, and I'll hit enter. And now notice the prompt says back, back to R1, and I can do a show run, and there's our enable secret encrypted. We don't know what it is, but even though we don't know what it is, we have our interface back up. Notice the interface, though, at fast Ethernet 0, 0 is, is already configured, but it's in shutdown mode. So we need to do two things. We need to, one, quickly change our um, conf t, quickly change our enable secret. So we'll say, enable secret class right which is the default in the curriculum enable secret class so now we we know what our password is it's class and then what we can do is we can go interface fa 0 slash 0 and then bring up our interface which is in shutdown mode so no shut once we're done control C whoops I almost forgot something so I'm sticking it in after the fact. 
before we save our configuration and say we're all done, what we need to do is if we do a quick show version command, you'll see that our configuration register is still set to 2142. So it's going to bypass the startup config. So even though we have recovered our password and set a new password, right, and put our got our configuration back and everything's up and running, if we turn off the router and restart the router, it's going to bypass that configuration file because the setting here, 2142, is in recovery mode and it bypasses the NVRAM startup config. So we need to turn our configuration register back to 2102. So to do that, type conf t and then let's put a question mark in and you can see that there's a command config register. So that's what we want. So we'll say config dash register 0x2102 that will change our configuration register back to normal so it will look to NVRAM for the startup config file when the router boots up that's what we want now what we can do is we can do a control C and do a copy copy run start destination file name startup config so we save our configuration file we're all good now if we t were to reload the router and so now we're actually restarting the router basically um, we now should be able to use our enable secret the password class to get into the router so let's see we hit enter notice R1 is still here so it looks like it worked enable class show version and you can see that the configuration register is now saved to 2102.